been a little time since the last uh, cut for this. Um, have the pencil box all painted, have my joystick in and ready to go. This is all live and, and ready to go. Let me go ahead and and just do some, I've got my uh, Logitech C920 on. This is actually a little jumpy in my hand, but that's what I'm shooting this with. I have three of these. Um, one for shooting in my studio, like what I'm doing right now. And then I have two of these uh, in the right in the front uh, on on light stands, on in the front of our uh, church, kind of off to this to each side of what would be considered the speaker of each side of the stage. So and they're not that big, so they're not really intrusive. Um, I, I thought they would really be annoying at first, but um, it, really they're not. So here it is. This is really designed um, not to do live panning and tilting. Um, you'd have to slow, slow it down a little bit. And on this particular one, um, on on the other side for the other one that I have, I uh, the cutting was a little bit different. I went in and I slowed it down by making longer delays between in the potentiometer or this PlayStation joystick. Um, the, the delays, you know, before it would go to the next move um, is uh, right now. This one is at, set at 50. I think I have my other one set at 150. I might have it at uh, 250 even to slow it down. So this one's kind of touchy um, is what I know. So let me let me just get to it. Let me show you. Um, there's the tilt and panning. <laughs> and, yeah, just a little. It's just a little top heavy, but it's not too bad. There it is. That's a. And this is the, the panning. Right, there you have. So, yep, and it goes 100, actually more than 180. And there, there, <laughs> there's the tilting. And it's it's really sensitive. So, you know, you move this a little bit on this joystick. You need to, I, I really need to delay it more so that it's not quite so sensitive. Um, and I probably will rewrite that code just a little bit. Just <laughs> change that delay. So... Anyhow, this is this. The, there it is in action, and so it does. As you can see, you can reposition your camera. All right, let me let me show you a couple other details about it before um, I sign off on this and, and take you to my church and show you this in action. I changed out these servos. The, the last time I showed you this, they had there were some black servos from a different company. Um, in the links um, that I have, this, I'll send you to eBay, will be these servos because I rebuilt this thing about three or four times thinking I had to have some wire wrong. Um, I didn't. It was actually the servos that were that were wrong, um, that were bad. I don't know. They were just faulty servos. And so I finally tracked that down. It took me a while to track that down. Um, this is the battery. Yeah, I showed you this before. I'll unplug this, but this has got, again, the battery pack, and then the on and off switch, turn that off, there's the batteries, I have some Radio Shack batteries in there, but but there they are with the batteries, and this is how, that, that's all I do to change out my batteries. Batteries last uh, probably about 10 hours, of, um, they usually last me a month, but we have our, our services are an hour and a half, to, and if he turns them on early, and he turns them off late, you might have two hours of service on it. So so that's not too bad, I don't think, for for this. To, to, and this, this runs, this is what powers this. Um, this box, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and take this, this wire out. Um, this, I power this with um, an NAC adapter, this, and I'll have a link to it. I'd recommend you get um, if, you, if you're putting two of these in, if you're only putting one in a box, I don't know how many cameras you want to use, but, um, you know, I'll send you to this because I'm, operate, I'm, I'm operating, uh, positioning two cameras up front. So I have two of these, and so I'll send you to a link for that. I'd recommend you have that. Let me open the box just for a moment. I'll show you a couple things that I did. This side I soldered. This side I didn't. Uh, you did something a little bit different, and I thought I would share it with you. I just stripped my... Cat five wires and put and push them in. I'll, I'll explain these to you in a minute and then and put them down in here. But there, there that is, and so you can see this one 
side is a little bit different than the other side. Uh, works fine, as you can see. What I did, these are, these are I ordered some, what is called jumper wires. Um, I think I got them from Ada Fruit. <clears throat> But I ordered about fit, about 40 of these, and it was about $5 for 40 of these. And they have them, uh, I think you can see that. Yeah, let me put it over that camera. Um, it has a male, male pin to it, and then the other side is a female um, where you, you push your And so I just strip, just strip my Cat5 wires in, and I put them in there, and then I put these in. I have an extra Arduino board here. And then I just push these, these male pins right in here where I want them that way. So that's how I did this one. And uh, if you're not good at soldering or you're reluctant, uh, I do I do okay with soldering, so I don't mind it. But when I first started, I didn't really like soldering. It was always intimidating. So if you're intimidated by it, you can go with these, and, and they'll work for you too. Um, so there there you have it. Uh, I hope this um, my next cut will be to the church. And um, I, again, if you like these, these help you. I hope. But, I hope it encourages you to build to build one. Um, it's nice to be able to for the camera, the guy operating um, our uh, cameras in the back. You, you know, he can cut, he can switch the angles of the camera, adjust the cameras to whatever he needs. Right straight back there from the table where he's sat and where he's running uh, the the V mix uh, mixer uh, switcher, and uh, we have four cameras and a computer input. Uh, so we actually have five views. And two of them are these C920s. These are pretty sweet, and they're high def, and they're US. They they have a USB in, and uh, it's a good way to go. And it costs about seventy seventy five dollars. So, all right, um, take you to my church next. Here we are. Um, this is in the sanctuary of my church. Um, but I thought I would start right here um, before I show you the the pan and tilts that we have up front that we operate from back there. But one of my uh, pan, uh, one of my Logitech C920s is right there in front of the keyboard, and the other one is over here between the speaker and the Christmas tree. I I, I put it there on purpose when I set it up, so it's over there. Um, they're not uh, annoying. I thought they would be. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this camera, I'm going to move it back to our uh, video booth and kind of show you the back of the church and um, thought you might be interested in that before I show you the, the cameras. Um, for those of you who are trying to do this in church, so let me, I just kind of spin it around. That is our sound booth where the black chair is and um, I have that up and running because I want to show you that. Also have this. I have a do-it-yourself build on how to build that. That will eventually be able to accommodate the camera that I'm shooting from right now. There uh, is a camera up there, and that has pan and tilt, but it's mechanically, and I'm going to do some gears and motors and that kind of thing. So that build will be coming. But here it is, and yes, it is a mess. You can see the pencil box right here um, there's our computer sets right here but there's the pencil box um, in action here um, right here is my um, the power strip to, to drive all of these from the back my my video guy sets here sometimes he gets up and makes adjustments to the cameras um, we have these I have this actually wide off it, it goes here and there's a Y on this and I send another one of these over to the sound booth where my sound guy where my sound guy takes and he adjusts the sound for this um, okay let me just show you a, a couple you can't see that I, just because of the angle and I'm not near it but let me just show you some of the of the cuts that we can go to. We have five basic inputs. This is straight from our computer, feeds it in, I feed it into this, and then you saw the center aisle cut. Um, let me put that back so you can see it. We use it for when I'm preaching and that kind of stuff. We use it when we zoom in um, about like that. And so that's our tight shot. And then we use the boom jib for uh, you know, if I start walking around, that kind of stuff. So this would be the center aisle, and we can move it in and out and that kind of thing. Um, this is the boom jib, um, and it's we tighten it up a little bit. It actually goes wider than that, but um, I actually tighten it up more than that. I just kind of giving you 
the overall. So that's the boom jib. And then the C920s. This is the C920 angle up there on the left-hand side um, that you see, and, and it can be p repositioned. And this is why we don't reposition them and um, live. I usually cut to another view and then, then position my camera, particularly this one. This one is, is a lot more wobbly. That's why I changed uh, the way I did. But we, we can get these, you know, it's, and of course it goes up and down just like the others. <laughs> And so that's why, you know, um, these are <laughs> these are top heavy. So you position your camera, you switch to another. Uh, typically, we would switch like to this one. We'd cut to this while we were adjusting that one. This is the one that I just built that you were you were looking at. It's actually, and because it's it's um, got a, a different pen and tilt brackets, it's a little better. See, it actually is a little bit better. It's touchy. Um, as I'm back here in the back using it, it's touchy, so it pans pretty decent. And, it, and this is the up and um, the tilt up and down. Listen to me. This is the tilt um, for and but but I would still you know this is mostly so that you don't have to have a cameraman up there ch you know changing which way to go. The only thing you don't want to do um, I don't recommend is 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 actually counting on it unless you rewrite some of the code so that it so that it moves slower, you don't really want to be panning with this. Um, by the way, these these Logitechs do have zooming in and out, but it's a digital zoom, and I don't. I just use it to get a different a different angle. But there it is. And there, you know, I'm looking across right now at the one across. You can see it from the platform uh, side. This particular one, because it has so much, I can actually come back and, and get on that it, that's as far as it will go and it will you know we could look at the audience um, if we wanted to so this is pretty nice I'm pretty excited my my cameraman will be glad to know that I finally got this thing in and uh, this is how we do it let me see if I I don't think it will show the the box it might oh there it is there's the box the power box I run it and you can see the, the lines that I brought in I just set it there on the step uh, um, I love this. I love this uh, V mix that we use because of, I can go to um, and and do PIPs. Um, here's what happens when we do PIPs. There's my main camera with the the computer, so we can we can just kind of switch to to different angles. That's the boom jib with the PIP, the same PIP, and um, and then the different camera angles, <coughs> you know, up from up front. So it's pretty cool. I do like it, um, and then and of course you can do your lower thirds and that kind of stuff. So those are the those are the angles. I, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you know that you get excited about building a pan and tilt. You can do it. I did it. I've never done anything like this. Certainly, have not done any programming. If you like this and you find it helpful, click the like button. If um, you really like it it helps us if you subscribe and i will do that that build for pan and tilt for the a larger heavier camera working with motors and gears um, for that boom jib that i showed you and uh and i may even just show you guys again once the booth gets all built i'm pretty excited about that one other thing is we are going to remodel we are going to remodel our, our the front of our church too so it'll be interesting to see how all that turns out for us i'm pretty excited um thanks for thanks for tuning in and uh there'll be a bunch of information in the uh items below in the in the list where it says show more i'll try to give you all the links to the important stuff that you need to buy thank you